Yo, it's your boy Jib back here with another video and in today's video we're going to be going over the Starfield headset and Starfield controller. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Let's start off with the controller. I quite like the design of the controller, quite different. I quite like the uh, chrome D-pad and the rainbow by the Xbox sign. I think that's pretty good. Uh, it'd be good to see if there's any like secret buttons on the back. Um, so when you maybe, if you, if you like kind of swap your weapons quickly, uh, there might be some secret buttons. Like you've got in Call of Duty, you've got like a button where you can like prone on some of the like limited edition controllers. So it'd be good to see if they had something like that on this, especially it being a limited edition controller. But um, yeah, let's jump right, let's jump right in. Let's get it open. I want to try to open it. So you guys can see. Wow, that's pretty cool. What's that say? For all into the star field. Quite like the box. Of, oh, yes. Guess what? We get some batteries. It's looking good. Um, but yeah, I've got a chrome D-pad here. Um, I think they're trying to go with like the kind of space shuttle type of vibe design. Because um, uh, based on the trailer, it, it does seem like there'll be a lot of like space shuttle uh, interaction and you can upgrade it and stuff. I think that's pretty cool adding that aspect into it. Trying to make it look like the control panel. That's pretty cool. It's kind of giving me like the Halo type of vibe. Don't know if you ever had the Halo controllers. They're very similar. It was like green. But it had all these like uh, lines on them. It's pretty cool. Let's see if they've got any buttons on the back. Yeah, so there's no buttons on the back. I thought there might be. Got an AUX. Got obviously your... Uh, looks like a HDMI, but it's not a HDMI. And um, you got uh, for your chart for the adapter where you have the little keyboard at the bottom. You've got a USB C charge up here, so you can plug it to computer if you want to play on computer. Um, I will actually be playing on PC, and I know it seems a bit strange for me to actually get the controller, but um, when Skyrim came out and Fallout came out, I played with a controller, and it's kind of nostalgia. So that's that's why I wanted to get the controller, just uh, take me back back in the days of actually playing. So um. Hence the reason getting the controller. Um, but yeah, pretty good. They've got, uh, oh, so they got throttle or frot. Yeah, so like I said, can't try to make it like a control panel. you got cam, cam here, dat, TGT, mode, exit, lock. Yeah, so these are, yeah, very control panel or grip here and grip here. Wow, that's pretty cool. Quite like these as well. Kind of transparent. Um, Transparent uh, trigger fingers, pretty cool. Kind of see into it. Is there any more batteries in here? No, can't we? We're, we're, we should be thankful we've got one pair of batteries. Didn't think they would give us another one. Yeah, pretty good. Um, does this open up a bit more? Yeah, this is just just opened up a bit more. Um, that's the case. It kind of came in. Oh, kind, of, kind of difficult to see. Yeah, that's not the case. Just the like the mold uh, it's that in. Just to let you know how to use the controller, no cheat codes in here, unfortunately. But um, yeah, that's pretty cool. I quite, I really like the layout of the box. Really smooth, open. I'm really glad I didn't rip it because every time I've had a controller or even the Xbox, I've always ripped the, I've always ripped it, and it's really annoyed me. I've tried to keep it. But yeah, that's um, that's that. Now the headset. Now this is, this is what I'm really excited about. And this is really, really, really cool. Love the design. My first initial thoughts of looking at it is like I feel like I'm like Calvin Harris or like a DJ. It seems like a proper DJ uh, headset that you wear when you, you know, you go to like a festival or like a rave or whatever. It's got that kind of vibe. Um, so it's got like the rainbow on here as well. It's pretty cool. Quite like the red. Um, uh, what I can see, it does look like it's foam pad in here. Um, so hopefully it is foam padding. I tr like same with the controller. I tried not to look too much into it. I wanted it to be a, like a surprise. Um, I think I don't know if it's wired or Bluetooth. Like I said, I haven't really looked into it. Let's get it open. All right. Do -do -do -do. Oh, whoa! How cool that is. Ah, but all into the Starfield again. Another little mould here. You see that? Oh, you see that? Yeah. Let's 
get it open. Da -da 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 -da. Voila. Okay, so you got this thing in here, a little holder for the camera. That's pretty cool. So on this side, this is the volume. If you can kind of see that, it kind of turns. It's really hard because the light in is really it's difficult to get it. It basically says Xbox volume, minimum, maximum. You like spin it this way. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, kind of like, again, like a control panel, like, you know, when you're in a, if you're flying a ship, like maybe in Star Wars, they wear like those little headsets type things. That's good. And then on this side, you've got balance in the middle, comms and cockpit. Oh, that's pretty cool. And these might be, it's got dials on the side as well. So it's got dials on this side of the volume as well. Um, that's pretty cool. So it goes 16 to 16. Right, let's get it on. See how I look. Wow, that's pretty cool. It really blocks the sound as well. Make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna break it. I just got it. There we go. Do I look like David Getter? I feel like I look like David Getter. There's a little mic here. Hello, this is Star Command. Star Command, can you hear me? Loud and clear, Jib. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's very, the headsets I've got at the moment, it's more noise cancelling on the outside, so, which is, uh, which is kind, of, is kind of what you want with a headset. Um, you just want it to be completely focused in the game, zoned in, don't want to hear anything else. They're shouting you for dinner or uh, asking you if you want a drink. You want to completely ignore them. You want a complete tunnel vision of the game. That's what you want. No, I think, yeah, I think that's perfect. The question is, are, what are, are these wired or Bluetooth? Okay, so we've got a USB-C port here. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry about the lighting, guys. You've got USB-C here. And you've got like a mute button right here. Um, what's this button? Hold this. Oh, it's making noise. I know you can't hear it, but the noise is like. Um, oh, see if I can see if I can put it on the mic. Hang on. Can you hear that? So these. are well, these must be Bluetooth then, if they're on already. Let's see, if, see what happens if it makes noise I turn it off. Oh yeah, they do, that's pretty cool. Right, I'll try and make, I'll turn it on, and hopefully you can hear that. Okay, now, if I turn it off. Not turning off. There we go. Yeah, so they are Bluetooth, which is a big surprise because I thought they'd be wired. I've always had a wired controller. Well, I had a, actually, I tell a lie, I used to have an earpiece, just as one, but one ear, but then my uncle took it. So, um, yeah, I died. Basically, died. I don't have it anymore. But um, yeah, that's pretty cool. It'd be good to have a Bluetooth one. When I go downstairs, make a cup of tea, or make a coffee, or get a drink, and don't have to worry about leaving it here and get getting focused again. That's pretty cool. To be honest, I'm really surprised at the uh, with both of them. Um, I'm surprised that this has more functions than I actually thought, and it being Bluetooth as well. But then I'm also surprised that that didn't really have any uh, back buttons at the, uh, the back, since they are both meant to be limited edition for the new game, the new Starfield game coming out. You would, it would be nice to see some like uh, secret buttons on the back. Um, but um, you know, still pretty good. I really like the design, like the design of both of them. The mic's pretty cool as well. I really, I do like the colour. Goes with my mic. So now, yeah, all I need is to get a white shirt. Um, 
Ah, here's the cable. Yeah, so there's the cable for the char charging cable. Um, I like the layout of the box as well. Let's see if you can just see that. So overall, yeah, I think they are they're pretty good. I think the headset for me, for the price of it all, if um, it was roughly a hundred and eighty pounds, I believe, uh, like with uh, four pound shipping. I think overall, if the headset wasn't Bluetooth, I don't think it would be worth the hundred and eighty pounds. But the fact that it is, it kind of it kind of justifies it. Um, and yeah, it's just with the controller, it'd be nice to see those buttons. But um, yeah, that's the unboxing. That's like my kind of initial thoughts and my review on it. Uh, if you like what you see or like uh, what I've gone over, please like and leave a comment below. It really helps the channel. Really gives me an idea of your thoughts as well. And please, please, please do not forget to like and subscribe as well and click that bell icon for more. It really helps helps me out and it makes you aware for my next video of Starfield or any other RPG games coming coming out or I want to go over maybe some Fallout. So yeah, be really appreciate it. And I just want to say if you've watched up to this point, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Really means the world to me. So yeah, thank you. Um but yeah please please don't forget to comment anything you like you didn't like. But without further ado, it's your boy Jib. Peace. Have a good day.